just spent a week with my old aunt Brown. Came up to see the wondrous sights of famous London town. Just a week I had of it, all round the place we roamed. Wasn't I sorry on the day I had to go back home? What it about with packing? I arrived late at the station, dropped my hat box in the mud, the things all fell about. Got me ticket, said goodbye, right away the guard did cry, but I found the train was wrong and shouted out. Oh, Mr. Porter, what shall I do? I want to go to Birmingham and they're taking me on to crew. Send me back to London as quickly as you can. Oh, Mr. Porter, what a silly girl I am. The porter would not stop the train but laughed and said you must. Keep your hair on Mary Ann and mind that you don't bust. Some old gentleman inside declared that it was hard. Said you get at the window, miss, and try and call the guard. Didn't I too with all me might? I nearly balanced over. But me old friend grasped me leg and pulled me back again. Nearly fainting with the fright, I sank into his arms of sight, went into hysterics, and I cried in vain. Oh, Mr. Porter, what shall I do? I want to go to Birmingham, and they're taking me on to crew. Send me back to London as quickly as you can. Oh, Mr. Porter, what a silly girl I am. On his clean old shirt front, then I laid my trembling head. Do take it easy, rest a while, the dear old chap, he said. If you make a fuss of me and on me do not frown, you shall have my mansion dear away in London town. Wouldn't you think me silly if I said I could not like him? Really he seemed a nice old boy, so I replied this way. I will be your own for life, your rhyme doodlum little wife. If you'll never tease me anymore, I say. Oh, Mr. Porter, what shall I do? I want to go to Birmingham and let take me on to crew. Send me back to London as quickly as you can. Oh, Mr. Porter, what a silly 